Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, where today I think we are going to try editing a little bit. I feel like we just spend a, a huge percentage of each episode in transit between interesting things, between the fun parts of the game, not really... Uh, it's, it's a bad entertaining minutes per video ratio and I am going to do something about it for a change. So here's the deal. I'm going to fly out to Little Hope. Y'all don't need to watch me fly out to Little Hope, you know what it looks like when I fly around. So, I'll be back in a second, in Little Hope. I hate these jumps. Yeah, you and me both. Alright, we're here, we're in Little Hope, ready to do whatever the hell it was Xander wanted, actually, what it was that Xander wanted? Accompany Xander's drone uh, convoy through Little Hope, capture an enemy pilot. Uh, while I was trying to get over here, Marla called up, and of course, Marla calling up switched my waypoint over to this mission, even though I have no interest in doing it, and she called me as I was holding E to jump through a gate, so I had to wait until the conversation ended before I could do that. It's... sometimes it feels like they're trying to annoy you. Alright. Company drone convoy through Little Hope, capture a dude. Got it. Easy. That's not the right thing. Here we are. This is the one. We did do a risky jump, but we took some damage. Well, uh, you know, our drone will fix it. This is going to be a quiet trip. And here we go. God, how do I get into these things? Oh, yeah. Marital fallout. You know, they say that a divorce is one of the most uh, stressful experiences that a person can go through, and I guess this is what they're talking about. Autopilot disengaged by hostiles. And there they are, right on schedule. Yeah, what a surprise. Inbound. All right, let's go blow some dudes up. Swap to the swarms. So I have to capture an enemy pilot, any enemy pilot. We're not looking for anybody in particular. Nope, never mind. That's right. There, yeah, there is that, that like uh, frigate kind of thing, right? With the with the crazy doomsday weapon on it that I managed to not see. Looks like they're breaking off. They know something fishy. Hostile craft entering the area. Oh, good, more hostiles. Shit, I better pick off one of those fighters now while I can. I have already picked off a bunch of the fighters. Stay I could use a little. Down. Right, of course, Marla's. Marla's the person who I have set as my emergency contact. Well, crap. Our shields down. You know, I feel like you don't have to tell me that the F-Shields are down. The F-Shields are perpetually down. I get it. I'm gonna actually rebalance power a little bit here. Let's go more to the shields. We don't really need to be that fast right now. Come on, to die. There we go. Got him. Got it. Got him. Better get him back to Brust. Objective complete. We are fleeing. We are rerouting the power and fleeing. The wiggle shall keep us safe as it always has in the past. Alright, so, sorry about this drone vessel. Ooh, I didn't even really uh, check where I was going. What am I doing now? Oh, uh, we gotta fly him back to Hampton, right? Is that, wait, is this what I'm... Why is Hampton on my thing? Xander. Yes, back to Hampton. Okay, so this is the wrong guy then. I need the Hampton jump gate. No, this is this is totally the right guy. Never mind, I'm all i I'm all flustered because my ship's all torn up. Let's get on the other side of the jump gate and then go to a station. I mean we'll just go to the station that Xander's at, right? Shake itself apart. Do feel that way sometimes. Destination reached. Okay, hey, no nonsense on the way back. That's a nice change of pace. Dodge sector traffic control. Your request is granted. Please proceed to the designated. Too much dialogue. I was gonna let the voice line actually play out, but then it, it had too many lines. All right. Well, the good news is most of the damage appears to be, you know, scorch marks wise, located around the cockpit. So probably that'll make it a little cheaper to repair. Wow, 7,900. I mean, whatever. 
Oh, also, exciting news. While I was uh, flying in, I managed to pick up another unit of human transplants. And also, we get to sell off all of our garbage contraband. This is like, what a day. We can finally turn that thing in. Man, I bet you could make a boatload off of uh, running loads of designer clothes if you knew where to take them. It's done. Excellent. We'll begin the necessary work immediately. Look, you got what you need from me. There's nothing else I can do. We shall see, Miss Markel. We shall see. Dude, it really bums me out when you talk to me that way. Okay, so that is... That's the main quest that we're pushing forward right now, I think. Let's get back in the air here and have a quick look at our mission log and plan our route back. We want to go back through Montana. I would love to drop off these human transplants and actually just be done with this. Uh, Richter wants to meet us back in Texas. We gotta get back to Eureka. Juarez is out of my way. What's the best way to do this? Maybe like down to Dutch? Yeah, I think that's probably right. So Derringer and Laredo and what am I talking about this on camera for? That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Montana and I'll see you all there. And here we are, landing at Chinook Refinery. Finally. Finally. I feel like I've had at least one ton of human uh, transplants in the cargo hold for basically the entire game for this. But hey, look at that. 126,000 credits received. Only after that's not even a number that we care about anymore. Because, of course. Uh so something happened on the way here. There's a there's a risky jump between Dutch and um, between Dutch and Montana, as you well know. Check this out. Let's uh, let's make sure that I heard this correctly. Hey, okay, first of all, obviously repair components. Uh, I believe, yeah, one of our one of our tachyon guns was destroyed by the jump. It completely deleted the component. Unfortunately, we're in a place where buying a tachyon buying a new tachyon gun is not a big deal. But that's, um, that's a thing I didn't realize could happen. So maybe it is, in fact, worth getting ourselves uh, the ability to... The, one of the shielded jump drives. We can certainly afford it. Okay, shielding against damage from even the most unstable jump gates. So I'm assuming that that means we are perfectly shielded. That, that it didn't, like, reduce the capability, uh, reduce the possibility, but instead just gave us total immunity. I am certainly hope so, at least. Given the amount of money that that costs, it better have that effect. And then, I guess from here, we're just headed back to Eureka? I haven't gotten any radio calls or anything, so I guess... I mean, there's gotta be more plot, right? We cannot possibly be done. Let's have a quick look at the mission log. Juarez... Yeah, I guess we'll just go back to Eureka and then from there to Texas? And if something happens on the way, you know, I'll, uh, I'll turn the recording back on. Do you? I seriously doubt it. So little faith in my judgment. The individual you captured was a mercenary contracting for a shell outfit called Van Driesen Consulting. Not ringing any bells. Further investigation with the considerable resources at my disposal has traced ownership of this group to a familiar name. I'm not going to like this, am I? Tatiana Markel. I speculate that she is attempting to reshape trade routes in the region for her own gain. At least, that might be what I'd do, given the particulars. Ah, shit. Look, she's my mother, but I've got nothing to do with her. Our arrangement is finished. Perhaps, Miss Markel. At any rate, I thought you'd be interested to know. Goodbye for now. Of course. I'm not even a little surprised. Oh, are we just actually going to let that go? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about the recording not coming on in time for the first line of that. I hit my recording hotkey and it took like a full five seconds to wind up for some reason. Uh, but yeah, okay. I, that's probably not a big surprise to anybody. I think it's pretty obvious that that's where the plot was going uh, once they started bringing her mother up more and more in uh, in like idle conversation. So let's see, we're right outside Eureka here. We may as well just fly on over there and drop off this 
slot machine. It is super weird that first of all, oh hold on, I can make the time. I'll come to you. Do you still hang around Tallulah? I'll be there. Yeah, it's super weird that we had to go to Nevada to personally acquire this, like, cheapo slot machine thing. First of all, it seems like a thing you could just, like, buy from whoever hauls equipment into the equipment bay. And secondly, it, like, this should this is a, a fungible good, right? You could get, like, a hundred of these on Amazon. I don't know why I had to hand deliver this thing. I'm wondering if there's going to be some kind of shenanigans that occur when we drop it off, basically. Especially since we haven't had to actually go back to Bountiful Vista for one of these in a little while. You gonna hey Satchel? Okay, there you go. Dude is asleep at the wheel 100% of the time. He's too busy thinking up new sweet graffiti to spray paint all over my floors. All right, Satchel. Here's the the cheap, very common right, thing Spanner, that you wanted me to get. Fun now. Oh, Spanner, you, Satchel. Really please listen. Know. I'll get it set up right away. How am I supposed to remember two different names for two different people in my life? That's ridiculous. Everyone in my real life, I just call them Mac, and it works just fine. Uh, so I don't think we have we don't have any new kinds of equipment that we can purchase or anything. Right, like we don't have special. Yeah, we still don't have special guns. I guess we're just headed back out into space. I'm gonna go talk to Ruth because he's apparently my best friend because I just believe literally anything anybody tells me. Alright, the main plot's important and everything, but Juno Markov does not forget her friends, and also she doesn't forget whatever the hell Richter Brust is. Is he a frenemy? He's a weird stalker at the very least. So what's the big deal? Xander's gone too far. My brother is trying to cut the legs out from under Richtertronics. Not only have they bought out most of the local raw materials, but they've cornered the richest mining claim in the area so they can triple their output. It'll put me out of business for sure. Sounds like you need to ramp up with your own mining claim. I ain't got time for that. Xander fights dirty, so we gotta fight dirty too. We Somehow I knew this is what he was gonna say. You know, I consider you a partner. Funny, I haven't noticed any deposits to my account. Oh, come on, lend a hand here. We gotta jam a stick in the spokes of Xander's mining operation. If we can just disable his equipment for a while, that'll give Richtertronics the time it needs to have a fighting chance. Industrial espionage, eh? You are all grown up now. Flattery will get you everywhere. I'm sending you the coordinates of Xander's outfit. I'm pretty sure you know what to do. It'll be fun. And I've got an income these days. It'll also be lucrative. <laughs> Maybe it will be. Why is it exactly that I think anything Xander tells me can be trusted? Like, he definitely has motivation to see me running around the galaxy not bothering him and also maybe dead. You know, if that could happen without a, without a lot of extra effort on his part, I'm sure he wouldn't be too upset. Also, did he, did he say it was in system? I don't think he said. I guess let's, let's find out here. Uh, Richtertronics in New Mexico. Ruth wants to meet me in Louisiana, so... I mean, okay, New Mexico's on the way. I guess that's where we're headed. Let's get on out there. And I mean, we can... I can just leave it running for right now. If we're just... We're gonna do one jump and then a mission and then one jump and then a mission. So, hey, everybody. How's it going? I gotta say... This is feeling a little bit better to me already, not having to just, like, fill quite so much dead air. And you're always gonna have to... Uh, really? Man. I, w I will also say, there sure have been a lot of cops at the jump gates today. It's a lot easier to just shoot them and get it over with when I don't have to be talking the whole time, though. Alright, let me guess. It's gonna be three. And you see this, if I gotta fly for more than like two seconds in order to just get in weapons range of them, they're too far away to stop me from jumping. Head on, huh? I don't know if I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I 
he wound back around a little bit and then tried it again. He was like, okay, she was tearing me up the first time, but maybe this time it'll be different? Maybe she'll forget how to shoot her guns? Well, that went better than expected. And oh hey, only two. It must be my birthday. Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was half punched out during Richter's little thing. We're going somewhere to blow something up, right? I mean, it really can't be anything else. I don't have access to a whole lot of verbs here. I'm just gonna go to the place he said and blow up whatever I see. This looks there. like the spot. A lot of mining gear around here. Time to tear it up. These mining hulks are automated, right? Is that a thing we know? Well, best not to think about it, I suppose. Now, they're not exactly warships. But also, I reckon it would be a bad idea to let them train those uh, mining lasers on us for too long, so maybe we should make this fast. Well, they really are not talking. No, 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 no. I don't want to be targeting the breast marks. Let's, let's stay on mission here. Yeah, they're really easy to kill. Okay, one last Hulk, and then we're just leaving. I'm not even... I'm not interested in killing the rest of these dudes. Okay, well... Time to get gone. Got a notification there to uh, rescue a pilot. So, nope, not automated. But we shot them to pieces very carefully in such a way that no innocent people died, is what I'm choosing to believe. And now, as is, as is the way in all situations in my life, time to desperately wiggle out of trouble and then flee into the darkness. You fools. No weapon has been made by man that can counter my wiggling. Autopilot disengaged by hostiles. Oh jeez, that's a big whale, hostile! Whale, what the hell? Missile inbound. This is gonna call for a whole new class of wiggling. God is my witness, I will end you. Let's just uh, try not to give her the chance. Destination reached. Ooh, okay. Easy. All this... All this space stuff is easy. Wait, am I... Sorry, am I supposed to be doing something else here? No, okay, just go back. Well, I'm sure that we will, uh... It will be convenient to go back on the way out of here. We're gonna have to go south and also east, I'm sure, to get wherever we're going. It is still the case that there is absolutely no reason for us to believe anything Ruth says, right? Also, I'm not 100% sure why I think he's going to be able to help, even if we do believe everything that he and Xander have told us. What is his role in this situation? It'd be weird for Juno to have a plan that she didn't spend an awful lot of dialogue painstakingly explaining to us. You are now and. Well, let's go find out, I suppose. Let's, uh, go buy some more missiles. Let's try to, you know, always try to get ready before you meet a guy who might actually still be trying to kill you. <laughs> in case you have to leave in a hurry. I just don't know. I mean, listen. I'm not gonna try to talk down a man's style for being ostentatious. Like, be you. You know, be proud of who you are. But I just don't know if I think the feather thing is really working. It sort of makes it look like he doesn't have a neck. Like he's just a big rectangular torso with a face on part? I don't know. I maybe owe you a whole other apology. Accepted. But I imagine you have more to talk about. Right. So, I assume you know about my mother. Tatiana and I are acquainted, yes. I'm pretty sure she's behind Yo, Bruce's I don't like bullshit, the way he said that. But at the same time, there's something bigger going on. I don't know if you've heard about the attacks over around Derringer. I've heard rumors. Well, looks like my dear old mom is behind that as well. Tatiana was in touch with me several months ago. She attempted to co-op me as muscle to force a low-ball sale on various properties around Dodge. I refused. She was apparently displeased, and given the situation that developed, 
It seems she thought she'd take me off the board as part of some larger scheme. Buying up properties, eh? So, Sander Bruss figures she's got some sort of weapon she's using to destabilize shipping routes, redirecting the main thoroughfare. And the companies and properties she's investing in are undoubtedly associated with that new route. Yeah, pretty classic stuff. Anyway, I could give a shit about shipping routes, but I sure am pissed off that she's dragging me back into all of this. And I imagine you aren't too happy about it either. I am displeased, yes. I need to find my mother. It's time to have it out. It's been a while. You know anyone with an inn? As a matter of fact, I do. A low-level dealer named Sandar. Hang on, Sandar? I just colored that guy a while back. I'm fairly certain it didn't take. He's out and about again. Huh. And you could set up a meeting with him, you think? Pretty certain. I'll let you know when I'm sure. Thanks, Ruth. See you around. I couldn't tell if it was just weird lighting or if he was wearing, like, gold nail polish, but that actually I think is a good look on him. I tell you, I got some gold nail polish and it's, uh, not so good for me. The problem is, I'm very pale and I bought too light a color and it's sort of in the right, in the right light and from a distance just makes it kind of look like I don't have fingernails. It's not a, it's not a great look. Not a thing anybody's ever trying to do on purpose. Oh, I should probably sell, yeah, we have some garbage that we picked up while we were fighting. Because I just reflective, er, reflexively hammer the tractor button. Alright, Sandar again. Well, I'm sure he's going to want to talk to me. Well, I guess we're going back to... Back to Nakodoches? No, hold on. Where's, where, where is Sandar? Are we going to get a node for this, or...? Well, I mean, we could just fly back and Destination reached. fly back and turn in the Richter thing, and then activate Richter as our buddy, so we have a buddy available. Because right now, I don't have anybody to show up and act as a distraction. Have time for this. Not that I need to be saved from combat or anything, not at this point. But it is nice to have somebody else for the enemies to shoot at. Are we... Yeah, okay, we just need to get to Texas. Look at me remembering my hotkeys. You know, I set up in places where they would, like, make logical sense to me. It's like, hey, that's where the thing is on the... on the console. Problem is, playing the game an hour a day does not make it easy to get it into the permanent knowledge part of your brain. That's the- that's what I'm choosing to blame for my faulty memory in this particular case. And next time it happens, I'll have some other excuse. I'm not saying that making excuses is exactly a superpower of mine, but... It kinda is. It feels like it, right? Listen, you gotta be- you gotta be proud of the things you're good at. Oh, I think we got hostiles. They're honestly, at this point in the game, this many hours into the thing, driving this ship with these weapons, they're gonna make me shoot jackrabbits. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir? Could you maybe not be in my way? Well, I mean, that makes it really clear. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yep, that ship has gone hostile because it jumped in front of some of my bullets. It came out of nowhere. There was nothing I could do, dude. Damn it. The good news is the, uh, the freighters in this area are similarly pretty soft targets. Alright, well, the Commonwealth is going to remember that. Wait, is there actually one more? There's totally one more pirate. Where did he come from? Also, apparently that freighter was carrying antimatter? That seems like the sort of thing that ought to be written in big glowing letters on the side of the ship. Hey, please don't shoot at me, because the an Dodge sector traffic control. Alright, Nakadochus was showing up as red. For a second there, I thought we were going to have to leave and come back, but no, apparently we're cool. Sure, they saw me kill that freighter out there, but also, they saw me kill that freighter out there! 
Yeah, just do whatever she wants, man. Hey, Richter, good news. All right, it's done. Fantastic. And here's those credits I promised you. It's onward and upward from here for Richter Tronics. Whatever you say, Richter. She didn't actually read that chuckle. Okay, well, let's activate Richter since Marla is not being useful uh, to us anymore. And then I guess we just head in the direction of the Marla thing until uh, until Ruth calls us up and let us lets us know what the deal is. I guess. I mean, I'll see you when it comes in. Arrange for a meeting with Sandar. He's wary, but I think I've reassured him enough that you won't have to watch your back. Craft. Where am I headed? Ridley in the Backbone system. Be careful. The Backbone system? Oh, I can have Ruthism. Yeah, all right. Let's do that thing. I definitely trust this guy. Sector has come my way. Interested in earning some credits? Could be. What's on tap? Watchdog work. Stop by Hobbs when you have a moment to discuss it. All right. Whew. All of a sudden, everybody wants my time. All right, hold on a second. The backbone system. Where in the hell? Oh, right. Of course, all. Of course, it's all the way out there in the absolute corner of nowhere, which is much more remote than the middle of nowhere. I don't know why people are always so upset about that one. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you in a couple of seconds for you, and I don't know, 25 minutes for me. And here we are in backbone. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I don't mean this entirely the way it's going to sound, but I'm kind of hoping we're getting to the end of this thing. God damn it. Just like I'm just saying that the amount of plot there is versus the amount of time we've spent on this, you know, we, we could be approaching a conclusion of some kind. That would be okay. This is going to go real, real bad for you. Sorry, what was that? I can't hear you all the way back there. Hello, Judo. The Vista Bar is just so lively these days, and all thanks to you. Glad Best you're happy, Spanner. I can sense a butt coming, though. But it could be ever so much more lively with a proper billiards table. Oh, man, I it's I used to play eight ball. Would you mind purchasing one and bringing it to the Vista? Alternately, if you're feeling strapped for cash, there are some casino supply transports around Nevada that might have some aboard. Not that I'd advocate anything illegal, of course. I'll bear it in mind. Aw, oh, I, don't, I don't have to beat a bunch of people at 8-Ball to convince them to come to the station? That's a shame. Clearance granted. Alright, what exactly... What exactly am I doing out here? This is where... Uh, what's his name is? I almost called him Sat... Listen, everybody's name is Satchel. That's just... A, that is the thing that is known about space. Everyone in space is named Satchel. Sandar, you're looking mighty unincarcerated. Yes, well, no thanks to you. I think it's fair to say that the drinks will be on your tab. Fair. No hard feelings, right? It was just business. You understand? Oh, I understand perfectly. I am, at heart, a business creature. So, a friend of mine says you've had dealings with my mother. The friend that you shot in the head? I count myself lucky you and I are only acquaintances. But yes, Tatiana it makes and I a fair have point. a business understanding. I'm hoping to have a little conversation with my mother. Unannounced, though. And you want me to arrange such a thing? Hmm, what are you going to do for me? I don't believe picking up the check here quite makes us even. What do you have in mind? There's a rival dealer in Dodge who has been making my life unpleasant. A truly despicable individual called Prinz. He's elevated his production to a truly industrial scale that's unfairly threatening to a small business owner like myself. And you want him gone, I take it? I want his entire operation obliterated. You seem to enjoy shooting things. If you assist me in leveling the playing field, then I'll get you what you need. How big is this operation? You'll need to secure some heavy firepower. Prinz is a cautious soul. The primary facility is protected by multiple shield generators. They'll have to be eliminated before the primary facility can be destroyed. 
meet me in Little Hope when you're properly prepared, and we'll set off some fireworks together. Well, I guess we'll be getting some drugs out of the marketplace. Feel free to dress it up however makes you happy, Ms. Markev. Farewell. Well, at least Little Hope isn't on the complete opposite side of the sector, you know? Thank goodness for small favors. I gotta tell you, I can't tell when those guys are angry at me or not. They always seem mad. Every one of whatever species that is that we have ever met has always just seemed extremely mad. I mean, that could be me. It could be the fact that, <laughs> that they all are extremely mad because we meet them when they're having to interact with me. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll cop to that. That could be not their fault. All right, well, little hope. You know, he said we'd need to uh, acquire some heavy weaponry, and I just kind of assumed that the very heavy guns on my ship would be good enough. We are basically driving like a couple of tanks glued together here, but maybe he meant some more like Death Star laser level weaponry. I don't know. Ah, there you are. I hope you're prepared. I've gathered a few other acquaintances to assist as well. Let's get it over with, Sandar. <laughs> yes, let's. Pair your drive to mine and I'll lead us to Prince's facility. He's having too much fun. Something here... Something here is worse than he has expressed it to us, right? It's gotta be. Oh, sir, pretty thing. Come closer. This ain't gonna go well for you. God, we're supposed to destroy that? <laughs> oh, this is a good. Ow. A solid it turns out, uh... On risk, Ms. Markev. The shield generators, we must destroy them. Missile inbound. It turns out the Missile ECM A. thing doesn't work that well if you accelerate directly toward the missile. You kind of got to give it time to pull the thing off. Okay, I got it, I got it. Oops, wrong button, there we go. Speed up. I should probably reset my power profile. In fact, at this point, we kinda gotta do this thing, right? Shields down. Missile inbound. Missile evaded. Wanted level decreased. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Oh, actually. My guns aren't out of energy, that's just... That's just what it looks like when there's no power to the weapons at all. And also, it's not actually causing the shields to come back up, so... That wasn't helping anybody. Let's just uh, give ourselves a little bit of distance here, let the shields recover. I know a bunch of my systems are all screwed up, but... Uh, we can't fix everything right now. This is unacceptable. Forward down. Yeah, I know, I was getting that. Boy, I'm I feel like the uh, the ECMs are really getting an unusually small percentage of the missiles today. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Shields down. Inbound. Come on, come on. Don't ram me! Uh, I was trying to steer off, by the way. I think our, uh, some of our machinery may be a little busted. Oh, you're dead. God, I hope so. Oh, no, man. I'm not dying today. Forward shields down. Come on, just die. Hell, this is not gonna happen. There we go. Finally, Jesus. Forward shields down. How many ships are there here? Whew, okay, are we... It looks like we're down to just the generators. I mean, the generators got guns on them, too, so let's 
hang out for a moment. I'm just gonna take my hands off the wheel for a second here. Let the let the power run. Once the shields are back up, then we'll do all the work. You know, Sandar could Sandar could handle it until then, right? Probably. It actually takes a remarkably long time. Is this song about my shields coming up? <laughs> has, the, has the soundtrack gotten self-aware? Okay. Let's reset the power profile. Oh, they got it. Oh, they killed something. I don't know. I don't know why she was saying that wasn't so bad. Good. These things can really sustain quite a lot of damage. One generator gone. Yeah, no thanks to you guys. Are there seriously more fighters? How many people live in this part of space? We're getting, getting attacked by new giant enemies every time we destroy one of the generators. I'm sure another frigate or something's going to come in. Well, we still have a fair number of missiles left. I'm just going to go... Actually, hold on. We're also being hit by fighters from the other side. Let's get rid of the fighters. Then we'll, uh, we'll just missile the frigate to death. Shouldn't take too long. The cruiser... Out. I don't feel like we're always getting the warnings about the missiles here. Like even the uh, even the pinging sound doesn't always seem to happen. Oh my God! Stop oh, no, running, you coward! Fight! I'm gonna tear that tin can apart. Running and regenerating is only a smart move when I do it. When you do it, it's annoying. Okay, alright. We... Still more fighters. Still more fighters is what we're looking at. Boy, that, uh, that cruiser has some big lasers. Large boar laser weapons. Alright, I got him. We got him. We got him. Sure, because they're... Even more fighters. No, it's not fighters, it's multiple capital ships. Yep, all the shields are down, all the armor's down, all the everything is down. I'm just gonna disengage here. I'm gonna do that thing, that tactical intelligent thing. That I would certainly never criticize anyone else for doing. We have nothing left, by the way. As far as, like, defenses go, oh, my... Hull plating is completely shredded. If I leave the area, I'm guessing it's going to make me start over, so there's not really any sense in doing that. But we may as well try to preserve the uh, the progress we've made thus far. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, there's guns on my ship, too. What'd you forget? Nail girl. And it's better than you deserve, frankly. Got it. Ooh. Alright. I guess we don't really have to spend too much time regenning shields this time. So here's a question. Do we try to bring down these capital ships? Or do we just try to burn through the last two shield generators? And I bet, I bet that um, when we kill the second shield generator, we're gonna get a ton of new reinforcements. We're probably not gonna want to have all this stuff still alive when that happens. Come on, he's died. <laughs> Yeah, 
There we go. Let's just back up a little bit here, and uh, we'll come back for the cruiser. Got it. We're down to about a third of our swarm missiles, so it's not necessarily going to be easy. Is there, how is there still a fighter alive? Is Sandar doing anything? He's certainly not killing any shield generators. Only one more generator remains. Never mind, he just killed a shield generator. But he only did it because I was making fun of him. At this point, I think we just... If there only being one left, I think we just get it. Awful lot of explosions happening off of the uh, starboard side there. Got it. Get the hell out of here. The generators are down. Focus fire on the main facility. That thing right there. I saved some missiles. So right now there's a big rock between us and that cruiser. Gonna get this thing up on the scope. Not really a lot of uh, information about how well it's doing. Let's get ourselves on the opposite side of the thing. Let it shield me from the the cruiser. Oh, all right. I think some of our dampeners might be a little damaged. That cruiser's coming around a little faster than I was hoping, but it at least doesn't seem to be focused on us at the moment. Come on. It's flashing red like Rocksteady at the end of that arcade game level. Just like, just blow up already, much like he did in space after being shot with lasers. I don't remember that game very well. In my defense, I only ever played it at Pizza Hut. You know, so you just see like the, the first part of the first level over and over again, because who is in a Pizza Hut long enough to beat a game? You didn't know who you were dealing with, did you? Well done, Ms. Markev. My ship is in pieces, man. The stragglers are fleeing. Run away, little ones. Run away. I'm trying. Here. Looks like we're in the clear. Yes, meet me again in Backbone. I am satisfied. Really? You can't just talk to me about whatever you gotta talk to me about right now? Fine. Okay, back to Backbone. Let's see what it was that Sandar felt he couldn't tell me over the phone, couldn't tell me when we were hanging out together back there in space what it was I had to fly my ass all the way back out here for. It's like everybody in this whole place forgets that they have shipboard radios the moment it would actually make sense to start using them. Shipboard radios where I couldn't even ignore what they're saying if I wanted to because there's no way to turn the damn thing off. By the way, for everyone who's curious, 28,000 credits worth of repairs. The important thing is, we're technically still alive. And annoyed. Oh, that went well, don't you think? I'm still alive, so I guess I'll call it a win. Oh, See? don't be so sour. And because I'm such a trustworthy business creature, I'll now hold up my end of the bargain. A location would do. I'll do you one better. I'll lead you there. Meet me in space, and I'll guide you directly to Tatiana's current base of operations. You know, coordinates would be just fine. Better, oh, but actually. She's a little craftier than that, as I'm sure you know. She's never in the same place for long. You'll need the assistance of a trustworthy contact. Trustworthy? That's what I said. Now, shall we? Again, she really has no no room to be talking on this one. Alright, let's go see. And this is obviously some kind of trap, but... It might be the kind of trap that we could turn toward our advantage, right, maybe. Way, I guess. I'm requesting verified instructions now. Pair up with me and we'll begin. Okay, 
Here, I have no idea where you are. There we go. Does feel sort of like he's flying away from me in order to make pairing more difficult. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Tatiana is careful, as I'm sure you know. Patience. Craft mm. inbound. Ah, here's the first welcoming committee. What are they doing? Shooting at me, probably. This is the first layer of security, of course. It appears we've been cleared. I'm receiving the next set of oh. coordinates. Please, pair up again. All right. Now, one guy slammed into that other guy pretty hard. Where the hell... Okay. Wait, what? That can't be right. Hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, we're still getting a reading on Sandar in the old position, I'm assuming. 3,000 kilometers away. But also, he is here. This one will be a little easier to fly to. Why does he want me to autopilot? Just let me get close enough to him to pair up. There we go. Ah, uh, here we are. That's the ship, reached. all right. Hello, Juno, my dear. I thought this was supposed to be an Of course she has an eye meeting. patch. I considered that part open to interpretation. And now, I'll be taking my leave. Really, Juno, you know me better than that. When am I ever caught unprepared? Hello, Tatiana. Please, dear, dock and let's chat. I think you owe me some personal time. I don't owe you a damn thing, especially not after what you just pulled. Yeah, that was pretty oh, fucked up. Juno, come now. Don't keep me waiting. That damn woman. Alright, well... I mean, if she wanted us dead, this would be a pretty good way to do it. Just, uh... There's probably no worse place to be than Tatiana, on somebody else's spaceship. I remember spaceship. when you used to call me mother, dear. I don't suppose you're going to reacquire the habit? I haven't called you mother since the four years I spent at Blackacre Prison, so no. Not really in a rush to. It was all for the best, Juno. They were hard years, I know, but it was an annealing fire. All just part of the plan, right? That's why you let me rot there. Not something I'm likely to forget. We should all be so lucky to emerge stronger from our mistakes. And you are so much stronger. Our mistakes? I did that job for you. That was your heist, your plan. So whose mistake was it, really? My mistake was letting you leave with Brace and throw away everything I built for us. For you. This was never about me, Mother. I know you well enough to know that. This is about your legacy, and I'm the closest you're gonna get to living forever. That's not only unfair, it's untrue. I've only ever wanted the best for you, even when you worked against your own self-interest. You left, you lived that tedious life with Brace and your small-time straight-laced operation, and you loathed it. Don't try to tell me you didn't. I've put you on a corrective path. Even your own husband knew it was all false, and I wouldn't trust him to sign his own name without misspelling it. Really, dear, you didn't have to aim so low to wring the rebellion out of your system. What can I say? He's got a nice ass, and he made me breakfast. I trust any illusions you had about Brace are well and truly punctured at this point. Yeah, we're not talking, and it sounds like I got you to thank for that, along with the rest of the crap I've waded through over the past few weeks. You're nicely sharpened back up, dear. It's time to put your edge to use again. I don't have any interest in what you're offering. No. You wanted legitimacy, I understand that. And in the end, that's what I'm offering. You don't build an empire as a small-time criminal. You have to think bigger. Once the latest phase of this operation is complete, you'll inherit the most powerful and wealthy organization in all of Dodge. And when I'm gone, it'll be yours to do with as you see fit. So, you use this weapon you built to terrorize a bunch of convoys, pin the whole mess on the inviolates, and you stand a profit when the trade routes move. I mean, this is some old-school Chinatown shit. 
Sometimes the old ways are the best ways, dear. And the inviolates are a plague on the Scepter. If they're wiped out, I'll have done a service to every citizen across 50 systems. I'm I mean, only she's asking probably right about think that. Think about this pragmatically. You don't agree with my methods? Fine. When you take my place, use this power and wealth to act as you see fit. I don't want it, Tatiana. What I want is for you to leave me alone. You don't have to decide now, Juno. Think it over. I'm leaving. You'll be back, dear, when you're ready to talk. I've already had my comm frequency delivered to your pad. God, she gets under my skin. You're still, you're still in the room with her. You say that kind of stuff like under your breath as you're get as you're leaving. Ah, hey, you know what? Juno's a grown woman. She knows what she's doing. All right. Complete. Well, we got some plot. We we finally got some actual motion there. Uh, I think this uh, this might be a good place to call it for today. That's gonna be it for us for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, come back next time when I compress another three hours of gameplay down into one video and maybe we see the light at the end of the tunnel here I don't mean to imply that, like I'm having a bad time but I'm not having a great time so hopefully we're headed toward the end of this thing we'll see you then